Hello and welcome to Wombat Coaching. My name is Neil. In this video, I'm going to walk you through creating a low content book using BookBolt. Let's get started. I'm now going to demonstrate to you how to create a low content book. In this case, we'll do a journal through a book bolt. All right, we'll start with the book bolt website and we'll go straight to the book bolt studio where we have to log in again with our same users we do for book bolt. And once we've logged in here, we're going to start a new project. Now we have the option here to choose our, our cover. It's going to be a paperback cover. We put our name in, it's going to be Gratitude Journal. The dimensions are the, the size we want. The, the uh, black and white colour is what, and bleed also is what we require there. We're going to put in 50 pages for this book, and we're going to create our project. Now we're presented with the first page, which is where we come back and finish our book cover. Like I mentioned before, all this is included when you sign into, into Studio. Now we're going to miss the first page and go to the second page. And this is where we'll start uh, designing our, our gratitude journal. Now I'll go to the templates and I'll choose some ruled lines. The one on the right here is um, has a wide ruled. We'll use that one. It'll be a good uh, a good template to use for our our journal. So we're going to put it on page two initially while we edit the the, uh, the document. We're going to make this our own, so we, we need to do some, some edits and uh, put some headings in. And to help us with that, we're going to use some shapes. Now shapes are great because you can highlight the areas that you want to change. And then you can make the shapes white and that then takes away that part of the document. And it's an easy way to edit the document and make it your own. So here I've now created a space for a heading. So I'm going to put a, uh, a date in this area here because this is going to be on every page. So it'll be a new date for every page. Now it's easy to put your text in. You put it in the little text, text box here up on the left. And then, and then hit OK and that'll change the text that you see on the screen. We then have to change the size of it and put it in position. Change it to a regular uh, font so it's not too, too bold there. And we'll put it in position up the top here and just adjust it so it fits in nicely. Now you can change the font to another font if you like and change the style of font if you don't like that one or you can upload your own fonts. Let's get that right. Now we're going to use our shapes again and uh, we're going to remove some more lines and put some more headings in. Now this is just an example, just to give you an idea what you can do. It's up to your imagination what you uh, do with Book Bolt. You, the whole idea is to try and design your own, use, you know, have a little bit of creativity and not just copy something that's already out there. KDP like it when you produce your own work and not just uh, uh, create and produce copies of other people's 
um, work. They like the buyer to have a unique experience and not just be confronted with copies. And this is easy enough to do to, sh to put these shapes in place. Just change the background to white and you, those lines are gone. Simple as that. And now we return to our text area where I'll put another, another heading in here. It's a good, easy way to change the size with the slider. And as you can see, I'm typing in the, where it says edit text. I'm not actually typing in the box, although you still can type in that box. I find it is easier to type your text in the edit text box of where I'm typing now. All right, that's going to be our first entry area in our journal. And we center that nicely. And now we'll just duplicate that text so it stays the same size and we'll drag it down for our next entry heading. Now these are just um, ideas that I've put together. This is not necessarily how you do a, a uh, gratitude journal, just some ideas that I've just put together for this video. So use your own imagination, don't use what I'm doing. You can if you want to, but uh, it's nice to have your own, your own ideas. And again, we'll duplicate down and put a third heading in for the last part of the journal. Just something like that. There we have it. We have a nice little um, gratitude journal with a couple of areas for people to write every day and put the date in. Now comes the fun part. You're going to enjoy this. How do we get it onto every page? Well, this is where the, the magic begins. This is what I like so much about Book Bolt and how, how it saves you time. Put through 2 to 50, hit OK, and watch this. Bang. All those pages now, when I hit Clone, will have this entry this uh, text that i've created on page two will now appear on all those pages and they'll start to populate now they don't happen instantly but they do start to populate down the left hand side there you'll see all those pages are now got duplicates of my page two and that's what a low content book is it is repetition of a a page throughout the entire book It can be a gratitude diary like this one, journal. It can be any type of journal. Now, page one, I left that blank for a reason. Here you would probably put some sort of introduction. So we'll start off with a heading. And once again, I'm going to edit the text up here on the left. And as I slide it up to the top, you'll see there's a line that allows me to center it. So you know it's in the center of your, uh, of your page. And it's probably not a bad idea to add some uh, text that uh, you can uh, put here. It may be an inspirational bit of text. Be careful what you put in here. Don't go putting quotes in from the internet that uh, you don't know where they've come from. You may get pulled up for uh, copyright. Best to write something um, original in here. I'm just going to write something and just give you an idea. I'm not going to write the whole page up, but you can put as much or as little information here as you like. It's just an introduction, just an idea uh, to let people know what the Gratitude Diary is about. Now, 
And I won't write everything. I'll put a few dots here just to show that you can just keep going. And your text can be positioned anywhere on the page here. You can spread it out. You can make it look a bit wider on the page there. You can, you know, you can do all sorts of modifications to it here to make it look nice. Move it up and down. Make sure it's centre. Um, and when you're happy with it, that's it. As simple as that. And that's your intro page. And we're just going to centre it now. That's to show you how we do that. As simple as that. So lots of little text tools there to help you get the text on the page the way you want it to look. You can even add more graphics to that page if you wanted to, but remember it's going to be in black and white. Let's move on to our book cover now. Now this is this has the same uh, template on it that you will get from Amazon KDP. If you go to their um, website for tools, you can download this exact template to use when you're creating it on other programs like PowerPoint and Word. Now we're going to put in a, uh, uh, a picture here for our background or as part of our um, book cover. And I'll just type in gratitude here in Pixabay and let's see what it brings back. There are lots and lots of images here that we can use. And these can all make great covers. It's just a matter of being a little bit creative with them. I'll just pick this one for now, something simple, just to give you an idea of how it works. As you can see, it's just a picture on the page. We can resize it, move it around. And what I'm going to do now is put a colour behind the entire book. This is the, the front and rear cover of the book, as you can see. So I'm now going to colourise that. I'm not going to leave it as black. I'll make it a nice uh, mauve colour. And I'll rearrange it so my image can still be seen from the front by dragging the rectangle down. And now the image is at the front. So you can put photos on your book cover like this. I'm now going to add a title to the book. And once again, I'm using the editor on the top left rather than writing in uh, the actual text box. And we'll call this one Gratitude Journal. Funny that. And let's change the size again. And then we'll position it again using those arrows to get the centre of the of that front cover. Okay, then. well, you know, it's not a very exciting looking front uh, cover of a book, but we have not finished yet. Let's do some more. We can change our text so it looks a little bit more inviting and we can put, put a black stroke around the outside and make it look a little bit better. It stands out a lot more than what it is just being white. All right. That's not looking too shabby. And we can just change the font to something a little bit more appealing. Something a little bit fancy. Here, we'll try this one. Yeah, that's not too bad. That looks a bit... Uh, bit more fancy, but uh, something that you would suit a gratitude journal. All right. You might not agree, but uh, we'll use it for this instance. All right. Let's do something with this picture. It looks a bit on its own out there, stuck there. Let's make this a little bit more exciting. So now I'm going to stretch the image out and cover the entire front page of the journal. And position it so it looks pretty Good. Making sure that I have covered that purple area there because that's the bleed area. You want to make sure that we're over the bleed. It doesn't matter if you go over the bleed. It does matter if you if you fall short of the bleed because that's when um, you'll have problems when it prints. But going over it is not uh, a problem at all. Okay, that looks pretty good there. Now, let's crop it. 
bring it into the uh, the binder of the book. And hit the crop button to secure that. All right, now let's change the colour of the back of the book and we'll use the colour picker uh, to match a colour from the, the photo. And I'll show you how this is done now. Grab the pip tool and I'm going to select the colour from the picture and look at that. It's now matching pretty much the entire book so it all fits in nicely. That's not a bad looking cover. Look, it's not the best, but hey, how long did it take us to do it using Book Bolt? Very quick. If you have a bit of time and a bit of imagination, you can come up with a very good book cover using this, this part of Book Bolt. I think it's, I think it's magic. I think it's um, very handy and you can produce some really nice book covers. Now, down the left-hand side, you'll see that all my pages are populated. I now have you know, 50 pages. Well, quite, not quite 50 because we started uh, page one with the introduction. So 49 pages of journal entries. And now we're going to download the file as a CMYK and it'll save it as a PDF file. It checks the details first and finishes it. And then it starts to download. And it downloads as a zip file. Okay. And obviously we need to open the zip file or extract the zip file before we can access the files. So we just extract data and it'll save into the same folder as our download folder. And there we have it. We have a paperback cover and a paperback interior. And as you can see, they're both PDF files and they're both in CMYK. And there's a bit of a preview of the interior of our book. All those pages. And the, this is a preview of our, our cover. Not as big there, but as you can see, the cover doesn't look too bad there. Now, these can be uploaded straight into your uh, KDP as a low content book. As simple as that and they will be accepted and approved and we move on then to our next book it's a very simple process now I hope you enjoy that demonstration it just shows how easy book bolt is to create low content books that was just a sample there's so many ways you can generate books using book bolt is up to your imagination there's so much training with book bolt uh, when you get into the program and there are weekly calls where there's training offered on a weekly basis by the administrators. It is such a good program. It is an easy and fast way to generate low content books for KDP. It can also be used to create uh, higher content books. And I, I can see that there wouldn't be any, any problem with using BookBolt to even uh, produce a novel. You'd have the same tools available to you you can upload your manuscript in a PDF file and insert it into BookBolt and you know then that the margins are going to be correct when you download, ready for uploading back into KDP. It is a great program and I do highly recommend BookBolt. As I mentioned in my last video, BookBolt has a three-day trial. Then after that, there is a subscription. There is the newbie subscription, which is $9.95 a month or the pro version for $19.95. The pro version is the one that I would recommend as you get access to all the goodies, including the use of creating activity books by using uh, word search and crossword puzzles, mazes, and a lot more. So I highly recommend you consider uh, investing in the pro version of BookBolt. I have uh, a link to it below which uh, you can have a look in my description. And also included is a coupon code for when you purchase your subscription that will give you 20% off your subscription. And the coupon code is Wombat Coaching. But all those details are below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.